Here go my version. Big P. 
patty with a brand new wrist set. Mmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in the butter jet. Mmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lamp, sliding the beam. Been working on my confidence. And respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Trying to pour another cup with us. See my brother sitting mud with me. This is the my dad in the wind. I got that in the wind. Okay, so I have made four of the seven candles that I can make for the um the cocoa corn. 
Yeah, and, and it's crazy because I, I realized, I just not realized with that candle name, I was saying it wrong like the whole time. I was saying cram. I don't know. <laughs> like, and then trying to say it like with an accent or French or something like that. That's not what it's supposed to be. Let me uh, fix this up. But yeah, that is not what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be Carm. Because, you know, car Caramel, Cara, Carm. So, I still don't like the name as much. Because uh, I've been addressing some of my names. Because, you know, I want to get in stores and stuff like that. So, I want to make them, like, I don't know, not be too different. But not be too much, like, obviously, generic store brands. I want to put them in between. So, like, my new name for, um, it was, like, Coco Cashmere, right? I love that. But the name was too long, I believe, for like the uh the label size. So I just go ahead and like try to shorten them a bit. Uh so they can ooh, y'all look at my hands. Well you can't see them, but like in person they are extremely red. Cause I was touching the, you know, hand of that and I was doing like the um the little the double boiler method. But yeah. So I went and changed up some of the names. So I changed uh Coco cashmere to cozy cashmere so that see i don't know it seems more childish to me and playful but i think it's more store store name so store brand name so yeah we did that um and i made four of seven i didn't want to but uh, and i'm using the, the same lx 24 weeks because i do see that they're actually pretty good um and all you really have to do is trim them so i have a hundred pack of them right now they're not bad it does really good for around the um the edges, even at the top with it being tapered and even at the bottom. So it's around halfway or a little more than half in the jar right now, or a little less than half the flames in the jar right now. But there's still a, a lot of um of excess on the sides, which is really good. So like, yeah, there's a pool, but and especially like if you don't trim it and like it starts mushrooming, then it gets like a bigger, like a larger pool, but it still has a lot of hang up or like a lot of um uh wax coating on the side still so I know it's not burning too hot so that's good the um hot throw is obviously good and so what I'm going to do with these candles is with these I'm probably going to I don't have to have one to test but I'm going to give some of them away I never thought about that until I was watching Memory Box Candle Coast video she was like she started off us you know giving um her family and friends uh testers and stuff like that candles to test so I think I'm going to do that um I have a bit of social anxiety, so I'm afraid of doing that. But especially um, to certain people, I want to give them to and stuff like that. So yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give them out. So I, I poured them. It's around like 3 p.m. I leave around six, so hopefully they'll be done by then. They should be because I remember when I poured just that one can that I'm testing now for cashmere. I poured that around like four, and I waited till like uh six because I, I leave around then and. Uh, it was pretty much done so I could take it and carry it and show it my boyfriend and stuff like that, how it looked and stuff. So, yeah, these should be done by then. Um, and I made four of the seven, like I said, so I can make seven more of these, I believe. I hope so because I use one, two, three, four, five. I use five of them so far. It's crazy. But I use five of them so far, so I should have, let me see if I use five, I have about seven left. Yes, I should be able to make hopefully three more like I, uh, you know, had bargained for. Um, but regardless, so yeah, I didn't really want to give these out because it's like I only bought thirty six of these jars. Like the wicks, I'm I'm fine with, but only about thirty six of these jars and the lids. And I love them so much. And I really want to sell them. I know that I really have faith that these jars will sell. The other ones didn't, which okay, my recording stopped, so I had to go free up some space. In which I already had a lot of deleted stuff anyway. I just didn't do it yet because I want to make sure I want to delete it before, um, before I couldn't use it for content anymore. Just because I deleted anything I didn't want to delete. So uh, I believe I left off saying that I really have confidence in each other. So I really do not want to give them away just for free and stuff like that. Especially because I was thinking that, as y'all know, that I'm uh, the jars, the candles that I already made that didn't sell. I'm just scooping the wax out heating it up and then pouring it in these and that's how i'm going to test or sell them and stuff like that because all that it's just you know it's the same wax and stuff like that i just you know warmed it up and poured it in like the new jar with the new wick and stuff like that so it should work either way so i was thinking that all of those candles i was going to that i can you know make with those the ones that i already made i was going to give all of those away but i didn't want to do that i was like that's a lot of product i'm giving away so i'm not going to do that but i will give away a few um and why not because i haven't tested this scent yet even though this is my this is my um my greatest 
throwing scent anyway and uh and yeah but also i realized that i were, with these jars when i'm filling them for some reason it's just like i forget where i'm supposed to like stop pouring i forget where my fill line is because like if you can see like right here so in the video that y'all may see i'm not sure what format i put it in but i could put it in either way um I forget that it's supposed to be that I like to feel it here. So I'll go here and I'm like, I be, I get so confused and I get and I be so unsatisfied. I'm like, I don't like the way this looks. But then I realize, like, cause like, where's the ten ounces? Like, is the jars different? Like they give me different jars and this was eight ounces. Or like, no, I just keep forgetting that my feel line is here. So yeah, I need these are all the ones that I use. Those are my two test scents that I'm supposed to be testing and uh, use. You already see uh, the two videos on me making these two tests and reviewing them uh, on my channel. If not, go watch that. It'll be linked uh, in the description, in the comments, and probably also um, at the top right as an illustration. I, I think I think that's what it's called, but yeah. So, and then that those two are the ones that I made into that one candle that I'm testing as well. And then I have two more, around three more of those actually. Yeah, I think I made five, so I have three more of those that I can make into another candle and probably a half as well for either selling or testing, even though I already tested it, so, yeah. Okay, so they're still, like, warm and whatnot, and I'm going to... I've been actually trying this out, so I just started uh, this today, in which is instead of like cutting up here, well actually, what I really can do is just take this off like I think I tried before, but I want to try it like this, even though I think it does move a bit, because I don't want, because I know these are still a bit warm, but they cool down really fast, so I poured these around three, and it's actually like five something right now, so yeah, they cool like really fast, but it's still like, you know, a bit warm for the most part, especially uh, down here, but makes sense, so Instead of, I don't want to have to go moving all of this and then, you know, potentially putting a uh, crack in it. So, I've been trying to, like, cut underneath in which it still gets the jobs done. And I get to actually have, I guess, more of the wig because I can actually, like, see it from, like, under here. So, I know I'm close because usually if I'm cutting, if I move this and I cut from the top down, I can't see. But I can actually see with this angle down here. But um, what I found is that it does still move it a bit because with this way how this is is in on the side there so i i can't cut sideways because like this side is like thinner like i want to um i have to cut this way going this way so it's gonna like be a little awkward to cut but here it is yeah so i say if anything that probably isn't the best way to cut it just gonna try to tap it down in the hole, but yeah, I don't think it's the best way to cut it because I have to cut it side sideways instead of actually right, so it doesn't move it too much. But for the most part, these few are done, and I want to go ahead and get them uh, finished before I leave. Okay, so that didn't move it too much. And then I'm going to just cut sideways. So I guess I can't see it this way. This was just the first time I actually tried doing it. I didn't cut it that good, I think. Plus, it could have been like a bit cool too. So, yeah. And I cut them that short now. I could go even shorter than that, honestly. But it's still good. So, I do still have get the majority of the wick. And then I save them. Because, like I said before, my own... Like I said before, I could get some wick tabs and then just, you know, put them inside and then clamp it and we have more wicks. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm satisfied. I think I'm satisfied with these wicks for the most part. I, I still will try different wicks in the uh, future and test out different wicks. But for the most part, these are good. They, and especially the thing is I'm looking for, they don't burn my jar too hot. So, and they don't. So that's good.
so recently i just got these in from sheet labels um i found them out by watching a new candle maker that i found recently thank god i found her but uh, i believe her channel is called nicomis home fragrances and um so i've been watching her like retail series and stuff like that which also like really inspired me and reminded me of one of my goals in the future to uh be in retail stores at some point but so i seen that she uses sheetlabels.com uh, which i haven't really heard of i think i seen the name before on an advertisement when i was looking up other label places but so it just so happened to uh, come in handy and it because actually um their labels are so much less expensive now the label size like in between so this one when well, this one i specifically this is just like a full sheet that's like cut in the back of like three slits so you can see that's those little slits but the whole page is nothing but one label itself so i could try different sizes that i want and that's how i'm going to use these so and i can actually get thank god this is annoying this is the wrong part because it keeps sticking to this but thank god like they sent so these are free right these are um they send you like three pages of like um whatever sample uh things that you select and i got this one because that's what i want so I'm going to try it out on my printer. And they give you three sheets, which is really cool. But yes, as you can see, like the little back slits. But that's only to just like take it off the paper. It's still like one sheet. So they give you three sheets. So what I'm thinking about doing, I was, I, at first I thought it was just one sheet. So I was just going to try it out and see like what uh, size. So with this one, I could cut it any way I want. Try different sizes and see what height and what width I want and stuff like that. And what width or whatever. So... I can clearly see where I want it to be and which is about right here. So thank God I didn't buy any labels yet. And this one could be a good size about that. This is a uh, 2.75 because I measured it with my tape measure. And they don't have 2.75 by 1.25. So yeah, they don't have exactly the sizes that I would really want to try. But they do have like a lot of other sizes and they are so much like less expensive. So um, they're like other places, even online labels. So um even though like the labels i want are 32 dollars regardless still i still get like 100 to 200 plus more so yeah i am willing to much rather try them um they also have like pretty good um custom uh prices as well like if you have them printed too so yeah i'm interested in trying that but yeah so what i was thinking about doing was uh using their thing and i already have like my uh, label size that i want to try so even though I don't want to have to because with their label, it prints out one full sheet of your label uh, design. I can't do like different ones like Avery or online. So that's the only sucky part about it. But um, hopefully I end up liking it. And also, since this is like no lines, there's a limit. So whatever design I do put on here, I can just cut it to size and then use them on my jar. So basically, I can use these three sheets since I can only do one. I have this one scent, the cashmere scent. I have this one for cocoa. And then this one, if uh either my moonflower or my strawberry does good so um yeah so i thought about that so i can get a full i can get three full sheets of these and i can cut these to size you know that's more timely and i don't want to you know cut it wrong but at the same time you know it's free so and you know it's still good so for the most part so i get to do this how i want and i can get to put it on here and i get like three full sheets of labels so that is extremely cool and as you can see uh, like around the side it says it's texture in which it is is very textured and it's very thin so honestly i do like the material i like the quality of these it's just i have to see how the printing is going to do what size i actually want um and stuff like that because even on their like uh thing for me to print it myself they don't have the clear gloss material up there for some reason so i'm gonna try to either use a frosted when or like the clear gloss uh weatherproof material so i can print it out and it can still give me like the desired look that i want without thinking that it's just like plain white paper if that makes sense to y'all i don't know how to describe it better than that so uh yeah but i'm gonna put these up gotta protect these But yeah, so like I said, these are free. I will leave, I'm going to leave the link in the description. These samples were free. You can get like, there's a variety of samples. They give you, I assume, three pages each because that's what I have here. And this is the um, material that I have. So give them a try. <laughs> 